I think the Fames, uh, Frames, Vicky Frames is a great meeting, meeting ground of minds, is a great melting pot of minds and I think it's a great way of integrating the media and entertainment industry all under one roof. What Vicky uh, Frames does for the industry is to voice its concern, to chart a route uh, for the voyage ahead and uh, probably give the industry uh, an inkling of, of what is to come tomorrow. Well, Fiki Frames has done a very good job. It has progressed, it has evolved. And I would wish that it becomes stronger, purposeful, effective, more comprehensive, more perfect. I think uh, Frames certainly is establishing and actually established itself as uh, the mother of all uh, media and entertainment events in India. I think if anyone who has an interest in this industry has to be here, uh, not only from India, from all over the world. And I think it is also becoming an important industry platform for all parts of the ecosystem, be it the government, be it companies, be it users, uh, be it advertisers, uh, all of them to come together and have a meaningful dialogue. So great job done at Fiki Frames. Uh, one of the most important things that Fiki Frames has achieved so far is uh, putting India on the map and uh, making sure in the last uh, decade that uh, everybody concerned with uh, or connected with uh, any form of entertainment uh, have uh, 50 frames on their calendar. And uh, I believe that's a very, very big thing uh, where India is also on, on the map of everybody in uh, all segments of entertainment. Uh, secondly, it has uh, also focused on a uh, few industries which is uh, which are very weak and who uh, initially cannot afford to have industry associations because they are very small and Fiki has actually supported them to uh, take the cost to the next level and uh, also uh, look at a representation uh, to the government well this this is actually my first time at frames and I'm amazed at the participation uh, the number of people that, that come to Mumbai for this event is truly amazing. The conference rooms uh, are packed. In fact, I'm a little claustrophobic personally, so uh, it's, the attendance is amazing. So I think Amin Turner has been uh, part of uh, Fiki, uh, supporting Fiki for many years now. Uh, I, we always felt that uh, it's a great uh, platform to um, uh, meet with such amazing stalwarts from the industry, listen to some interesting uh, ideas, uh, network. I think that becomes also an opportunity for all of us to be here. Uh, but more than that, I think the, the, uh, the topics, uh, this year the topic about digitization was I think very well received, by, especially uh, by broadcasters, which is clearly a big focus for all of us uh, this year. I have to compliment Fiki for the outstanding work that uh, Fiki, uh, the Media and Entertainment Committee and the organizers have done and uh, not for one year, two years or three years but a sustained activity to be the fountainhead of information, the fountainhead of knowledge, the fountainhead of spreading new initiatives and creating a platform of a landscape of opportunities for the young entrepreneurs who necessarily may not have the resources to access talent in the industry both at senior and at junior levels. I think Fiki has done an outstanding job and I say the word outstanding because it has sustained this activity over the last 12 years. If you look at the profile of the speakers, the profile of the exhibitors, the profile of the audience itself, uh, one would be more than convinced that Fiki has done a humongous job, a great, a great contribution to the media and entertainment industry. Frames is uh, one of the uh, most outstanding bridge building events in the media and entertainment landscape in the country. Uh, we've been coming here for over a decade. It's a tremendous way to see the development of uh, different silos of the industry. It's also more heartening at a personal level to connect with professionals uh, who have had a journey across the media landscape. Uh, many people that were here 10 years ago in traditional media have moved on to uh, various avatars and I think also we're seeing around us now the birth of you know the, the digital era. 
speaking here for now 13 years and since it started and uh, I think it's a stable steady conference and it's a great place to meet all your friends in the business once a year and uh, I find it very valuable. The experience being here at Frames has been terrific. Um, everything I've seen has been totally top-notch professional. Uh, people are enthused. The work looks great. Uh, the interest is very high in doing better and better. What I love about being here, I suppose, is the one thing is that everybody wants to make whatever they're doing better than what they're currently doing. They want to raise the bar. Everybody here. And it's wonderfully exciting. Fiki has been a very productive uh, time. I think it's wonderful when people in film get together and meet because normally when we are shooting films, um, we are very busy on the set, but these are times when we can get together, get to know each other, exchange ideas, uh, as well as uh, hopefully create co-productions and ways of collaborating that will lead to new and even better. I've been here so often from the right time. Um, it's very well intentioned. I hope it becomes an instrument of change. It is, but it's not going fast enough. Um, you know, uh, Fiki's been able to take up uh, a leap forward this year, and they've been uh, fairly uh, innovative in what they've done in terms of the sessions. Um, uh, I think, you know, the, the cusp of digitization which, it, which India is in uh, has been addressed by Fiki very well, and this has been a great forum for all stakeholders to come together to actually not only uh, put their point of view forward, but to collaborate. And it's really, tr you know, a truly a collaborative forum this year. Uh, I guess uh, this Wikiframe has really uh, been a very successful uh, event and it's really growing year by year. Every year I think it's really shaping up very well as a very large and global event and we are very happy to be associated with them as a convention partner. I guess it's, it's a very, very uh, wide and global platform for uh, branding activity around and uh, uh, that's what we feel and we are really happy about associated with uh, the, the Wikiframes. You know. I'm here. It's a wonderful meeting place for many different people who are part of the industry. And I think not just the business side, but also the creative side, because you hear a lot of stimulating discussions. I myself have been on panels here. Um, you also meet old friends, especially for someone like me who's a bit of a recluse. I don't really come out that much. It's great to be here. And uh, many partnerships get formed from here. So I think uh, Picky Frames is an event that we all look forward to. It is, uh, it is perhaps the best platform from our perspective and also from the industry point of view. I think uh, this is uh, a terrific platform where we have taken a lot of help. But more importantly, this is where the whole industry get together. The ministry, the government, the, the broadcasters, content creators, distributors, the fact that the whole ecosystem comes here, it is, it is very, very useful, very useful. And I think they are doing a terrific job, very good job. So it has been really great uh, as an industry forum. Uh, Frames has really evolved into becoming a very important uh, event and uh, we look forward every year to uh, meeting people, meeting new people and uh, learning new things. Uh, and of course, you know, there's the whole industry report which is covers all the sectors which gives us a lot of insights into the direction in which the industry is headed. So Frames actually uh, creates, uh, provides a global platform where they bring the people from the local industry as well as from the global industry. They bring the, all the players within the Bollywood, all the business, all the celebrities, as well as the technology people. And same thing with the Hollywood, they try to collaborate a lot. And so is the other uh, content industry throughout the world. Like for example, this year they brought the Japanese animation and uh, last year and the year before there was the US uh, as a partner country. And we like to see Fiki grow uh, over the period of time and this uh, platform should continue to uh, flourish. And I would like to congratulate Fiki teams for putting this outstanding effort for making this happen. I don't, don't know too much of the journey of Fiki Frame. I come here and when I come here, I think that many people come here and say something like that. So uh, I feel that it's a very illuminating process for me and for the audience. Um, and I really think uh, I, I always learn something from Fiki Frame. Thank you so much. And I really think I always learn something from Fiki Frame. From an outsider's point of view, I was looking at Vicky and I was thinking, you know, what was the purpose of this show? And now that I'm actually here and I'm interacting with people, what I'm seeing is that a representation from all the different types of industry within media. See, I look at media a little bit differently than most. I define media as anything that provides entertainment and consumes time. So my definition of media includes toys, includes apps, games, and whatnot. 
And what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing representation from all the different forms of media and I'm seeing different interests as well. So um, uh, discourse, wonderful sessions, most of it, and I hope to interact and see, you know, the, the amazing work that is happening in uh, bringing the fraternity together so that we can actually talk about things that are happening in the industry. And, uh, a very interesting business uh, uh, conclave for uh, media professionals. It has been growing over the years rather well uh, and I'm happy to see that it is, uh, has reached this kind of a, a stage now. I've been attending uh, Fiki Frames for the last uh, almost five years now. Uh, I find this always to be uh, the best forum to interact with the people, network and uh, also you know some uh, best speakers who come and uh, seriously do justice to the subjects. And um, more than anything you know you get to know new things, uh, what's happening and what we can look forward to in the entertainment industry. Well, it's been fantastic. It's uh, it's a conclave, and I've met uh, various uh, directors I know and are friends of to catch up with, and people I haven't met. And uh, you get to see new things. Uh, uh, all the technological departments are here with new inventions. I'm just going to step in to see uh, 3D with our glasses. The journey of Fiki Films, I think it's wonderful. I think you have a cross section of business, of art, art and commerce mixing together, and technology. And technology. I think Fiki Films is fantastic. You've got a great cross-section of artists, craftspeople, uh, visionaries. There's te new technologies are being presented here. And all of the individuals involved in these technologies and arts and crafts are meeting and talking and learning from each other. And it's all, you know, for the Indian film industry, which is very strong and very robust and growing and growing and will make its mark on the world. I am absolutely positive of that. I think it's a very good platform and I'm very uh, excited that they are like the last of us, which is great for the industry. And we heard some wonderful speeches. I think it's a lot of fun because there are discussions about what are the trends in the digital media and how the digital space is very important to us. Yeah, Frames has been delightful this year in 2012. Um, uh, the, uh, what I notice about frames this year compared to last and the previous years we've been coming uh, several years now is that uh, the, the industry has just uh, re elevated its level of sophistication and, and uh, aggressiveness. It's been a, a very interesting to see this progression happening. Um, we, um, we really enjoy coming here. I, I'm with Intel Corporation and we uh, work with a lot of the companies here. Uh, and it's, um, it's been good to have the, both the relationship building activities that go on, but also the detailed conversations about how to implement and how to make things happen um, in this market. To be at Frames over the last many years, you have seen the industry grow and transform over the years. Uh, so, you know, it's obviously getting more structured, uh, you know, lots of new technology coming in. So it's been really good. I think it's, it's a very good platform. It's very unique. I think there are very few conferences which are a business conference. So I think this is really good from that perspective. Experience. Um, I spent uh, now this, this is my second day. The buyer seller meet was very nice, and uh, some of the you know uh, seminars that I attended was very informative. And um, I think Fiki is doing a wonderful job. Uh, Fiki Frames is very very important. Uh, because it's really a gateway into the new creativity of India. The other important thing of Fiki Frames is uh, the export market for Indian content, Indian technology, and the marriage of creativity, story, technology, which uh, is, is going to be a perfect uh, subject for India. Uh, it's very important for Fiki, frame, Fiki Frames to act as a platform for this. Uh, Fiki's great, it's the, it's the best place in India where everybody gets together across the media and entertainment space, whether it's, it's news, entertainment, sports, computer games, it's really the one place where everybody gets together. So this is my third time to Fiki and, and yet again I've had a really good uh, couple of days. Well, uh, Cross Media Lab has been coming to Frames for many years now and uh, we find it both uh, very exciting, it's always an exciting event to be here, but also for us to learn uh, because the Indian entertainment and media industries are in fact very experienced and very successful. So coming here is an opportunity for us to see 
different ways of doing things and different models of success. So it's a learning experience for us as well, as well as an opportunity to become networked into the very elite um, powers, power brokers and movers and shakers of the India media industries. Fiki Frames is, uh, has been very useful. I came here last about four years ago and uh, you know, it's always a learning opportunity, great to see old faces as well. And it's a very good initiative that the industry is taking to educate each other and help each other to understand the changes and how to cope with them. So it's been a very useful exercise. Uh, I'm at Frames, Fiki Frames in Mumbai. And I just hit the microphone. So I'm in Fiki Frames in, in Mumbai. I've just uh, completed doing my talk about making independent animated feature films. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience and these experiences are made up because you get great questions, great audience participation and I'm having the most marvellous time. You know, you, you come to these events, you, you're never quite sure how they're going to be, what, how, how it's going to be organised and I, I've, I've had a marvellous time. So these, the, you asking me these questions, my opportunity to say thank you to all the organisers, thank you to the participants and my colleagues that have been here because it's a great event. Fascinating to be here. I mean, I only just arrived here today and I've been in a session already I mean it's very exciting there's a lot of people here who are really wild about films so that's that's very thrilling I've done lots of fikis it's been an absolutely brilliant and exhilarating morning spending the time with Fiki really Fiki frames is really moving fast we've done I've done Chennai I've done Kolkata, of course, Kolkata this year was the first time and it was wonderful. I think more than anything else, it's meeting with the fraternity that is so brilliant. I love being a part of Fiki. It was great. Uh, it was great being here. There's a, a huge energy, you know, in front of us, uh, an economic turmoil, a political turmoil. And to see all that energy, it's really great and people are very cool. Fiki has become much more dynamic because they've added uh, co-production lounges, market, and the sessions have become much more uh, focused and longer and therefore uh, much more productive. And we believe that um, being here uh, helps us in a very big way to uh, connect with the industry and uh, try and make uh, more out of it. Uh, Fiki Frames has been a great experience. This is my first time to India. I've had a chance to meet a lot of Indian companies here and have been impressed with what they're doing. And it's kind of opened my eyes to potential co-partnerships and uh, co-productions and inviting uh, Indian companies to Canada uh, so that maybe we could collaborate more and maybe share uh, each of our own experiences to tap into the Indian market, which I see as a huge opportunity. Uh, well, it's been a great experience. We've been here coming here now for about 10 years. This is my third Frames conference with uh, the council. And uh, every year we bring uh, member companies from across uh, various sectors including technology companies, of course, uh, content creators and uh, media and entertainment companies. Um, I think there's sort of two areas where Frames has been particularly useful for our members. Uh, for our technology companies, it's been a chance to meet with uh, Indian companies, whether they're studios or other technology partners, uh, and develop real relationships. We've already seen that this has led to some uh, various joint ventures and other direct sales of new technology to Indian companies. Uh, that includes uh, Intel, for example, and the deployment of Intel Insider, which was announced at this year's Frames Conference. It's also provided us an opportunity to meet with some of our counterparts to discuss regulatory area issues that we can, we can address uh, jointly in both countries. This includes uh, mundane issues such as tax and regulatory policy, but these are very important to both our industries. Uh, also, ways to address counterfeiting and piracy, which impact both American companies doing business in India, but also Indian companies, uh, Indian studios, who find that uh, their uh, products are pirated not only in India, but around the South Asian region and even in the United States. So Frames is a great opportunity to meet with thought leaders, government officials, and other industry partners to discuss how we can collaborate to address these challenges and find new opportunities for, uh, for both sides. To India as a tourist and as a business boss. And uh, I found out Fiki Fred. I was invited by uh, Indian organizer. I obviously am the only one Japanese here. But I was very amazed that the Fiki Frame is already a very big event and all the important Indian production companies, buyers, the sellers, they are all here for a very compact price and I think it's very effective. 
I think the next phase of frames, it should become a uh, real marketplace and not just an exchange of ideas, but it should become an area for uh, the buying and selling of content. And while feature film content will continue to find its uh, transactions outside of a place like this, but there's so much of other user generated, small price, short content, low price uh, feature films, etc. I think all of those transactions can actually happen at Frames if it becomes a market. Uh, Fiki Frames has I've been associated with Fiki Frames from the time it was uh, uh, of its inception. And uh, it's a great forum. I'm meeting such a lot of uh, filmmaker friends and uh, for me, wo bahana hai. I mean, it's quite evident. I think that uh, it's been rolling like a stone but gathering moss <laughs> as it moves on. The, uh, not just the quantity of attendance, but I think the nature of the discussions has certainly improved. Uh, it's been much more vigorous, more pertinent. And I think, I would say that the platform which Vicky began with calling it Frames, uh, I think certainly has acquired a certain real uh, appeal uh, to people and a real usefulness, which is why you find people who are otherwise very busy coming here and spending three full days, I mean, why would they do that? I mean, it isn't merely a schmoozing or a mua mua sort of, you know, social get together. I mean, I'm sure some concrete business is being transacted and it's important for us to also engage with people from other aspects of filmmaking. And I would say this is the best platform that we Indian filmmakers have to interact with our Hollywood, uh, Hollywood counter counterparts. So, as an industry, we are still growing. We are still uh, becoming mature as an industry. This is the first time I've participated in Fiki and so far it's you know, a very well-run organisation. The quality of the, the seminars and the quality of the people that are here is very strong. Uh, if uh, there is a platform uh, which has taken the whole uh, uh, content which is distributed on different uh, platforms, not just uh, TV or radio or uh, much beyond uh, that, I think uh, it's a congregation of uh, whole ideas, approach and the uh, future of uh, media in some sense. So uh, what uh, it's, it's become uh, a powerhouse uh, for uh, all people related uh, directly or remotely uh, as well because uh, I think uh, it, it brings so many minds together uh, that uh, the power that emanates from uh, it in some sense is uh, uh, it is like going to a temple which has so much of positive energy. I think that's what uh, Picky Frames has done over the years. I think Frames has been uh, a voice of the industry in terms of the challenges that the industry faces and uh, what are the issues and how do we address them. Also, it's, it's, it's becoming a place where people want to listen, talk about the success stories, the issues and the challenges that uh, the industry is facing. You know, Also, one of the things that we've been doing is through the Frames initiative, you know, we've been lobbying with the government on uh, some of the problems that we've had. You know, we've been fairly working very close with the Information and Broadcasting Ministry, trying to fix issues like co-production treaties, uh, look for certain tax incentives. You know, so these are things that we've spoken to the Information Broadcasting Minister, Madam Ambika Soni. We had a couple of meetings. We're also trying to, through the Frames initiative, look at addressing education also as a larger initiative. Frames is quite clearly the largest entertainment event in India and I think it uh, is an umbrella event that covers you know the movie the, the music television and now increasingly the participation of uh, the emerging industries of animation gaming visual effects uh, one very solid thing that has happened is uh, the best animated frames awards have uh, really got established and uh, it's become a international award and as you know that any award takes a long time so this is uh, a fantastic uh, forum right now uh, for animation gaming and visual effects uh, having such a prestigious awards uh, as far as uh, uh, the delegations are concerned the focus delegation on animation uh, has started coming this is my first experience in India and my first experience in Fiki Frames and I'm really very overwhelmed in a, in a, in a, in a very good way. In terms of uh, Fiki Frames itself, highly organized conference, uh, very professionally run, beautiful facility and people come here obviously on a mission to network and to learn 
and there's a palpable excitement because of the vitality of the Indian film industry. First of all, my name is Frank Foster. I'm with Maya Digital Studios, and I'm uh, formerly the senior vice president and founder of uh, Sony Imageworks in Los Angeles. This is my first uh, Figgy Frames, uh, but I first came to India 15 years ago to help start uh, Maya Digital, and uh, I actually live in Mumbai now, so uh, I'm very enthusiastic about the film business, especially the animation and visual effects business. Uh, that is growing uh, at a high rate here in India. Uh, when I first came here with the dream of bringing outsourcing uh, from the U.S. to India 15 years ago, it was, it was basically not trusted, not understood, uh, not accepted. But now uh, India, I think, has become the number one destination for outsourcing. It's been a privilege to be here. Um... A lot of uh, global organizations looking to make more of their media assets. Um, so we're a bit pleased to be here. Uh, we met a lot of very interesting organizations. Um, and yeah, it's been a good event for us. I, this is my first time to Frames, I, and I, I've really enjoy, enjoyed the experience. I find that the audience here at Frames, I, that from the, all of the attendees, have been very engaged and very interactive. The questions have been some of the best questions I've seen at any of the conferences about media, uh, about the topic that I even presented on. So very excited to work with uh, the, the Indian media community and uh, very excited to, uh, to participate in Frames. It's been a good event. For uh, content providers, content creators, uh, the entire ecosystem of entertainment in, in India to come together in, in, in a one, one place to have a productive few days. So we're, we're very pleased to see it. People I meet, Otherwise, I don't get to meet them in, in, in the industry, even some old friends. And we keep on working in our orbits at this one place which I love, actually I love. Well, uh, it's the sixth or seventh year running I'm coming to Flicky Frames and I always find it a useful place uh, to find out ab uh, about trends and developments in the India me Indian media and entertainment sector and also uh, yeah, emerging companies, uh, companies uh, that might be interested uh, to go international.